Hey, Dr. Jerry Williams, Urgent Care 24-7 here for a quick discussion about ear infections and kind of some basic stuff you need to know if you think you have an ear infection. Now, kind of the way my grandmother used to treat ear infections was here in the South was with sweet oil where they'd put these concoctions in your ear and put cotton there in your ear canal to keep it in place but that's really not how we should do anything uh, regarding the ear because your senses are so incredibly important and I was going to have this discussion be about pediatric ear infections and I decided now nah, we're just going to talk about ear infections in general so we're going to talk about kiddos we're going to talk about adult ear infections and just uh, because really the same elements apply for what's important on why you treat an ear infection and how you treat it and what you should do right now if you're watching this video and you're going oh my gosh i'm not sure what i should do my two-year-old i think has an ear infection or my husband has an ear infection what should we do so first and foremost let me just encourage you the first thing you need to do is you need to make arrangements to go get seen by a medical professional immediately especially in kids because hearing is so important to the development of normal language and chronic ear infections over time that aren't recognized or aren't treated appropriately can cause chronic hearing loss, which can lead to uh, verbal developmental delay in kids. So really important that you treat potential ear infections, especially in children, but people of all ages, that you treat them as, uh, seriously because they are. But the beauty of ear infections are is more, much more times than not, they're very easily treatable with appropriate antibiotics and uh, appropriate medical care. So if, uh, let's say, uh, your two-year-old, uh, let's say my two-year-old Jake is uh, tugging at his ear and has a fever. He's actually 26, but we're going to just play like he's two. Um, and Jake's my uh, video and sound guy, so he's, he's listening in on this. But let's say when Jake was two years old, he was tugging at his ear and he was fussy and he wouldn't take his bottle and he had a fever. So uh, first thing I would do, because um, dad was a doc, was go grab my otoscope and take a peek in his ear. Uh-oh, Jake's got another ear infection and his ear's red. His tympanic membrane or his eardrum is red and bulging. So we would put Jake on antibiotics. And it's really important that that diagnosis be made appropriately So by a medical provider looking in the ear and then getting on an appropriate antibiotic for an ear infection. And again, you don't want to play around with ear infections and say, well, it could be viral. We'll, we'll see if the ear infection goes away. It's not the way you treat it because ear infections over time, especially chronic untreated ear infections, can lead, as I mentioned earlier, to chronic hearing loss. No bueno, not good. So uh, really important, if you have an ear infection, make sure you make arrangements to see a medical professional as quickly as possible where they can take a look in your ear and get you on the right antibiotic, but also make sure you take your antibiotic exactly as your medical provider prescribed it. Make sure you finish that antibiotic. I don't care how much better your ear feels. Yes, you need to finish taking all of the medicine. And then it's really important that you follow up with your medical provider and make sure they examine your ear after treatment to make sure that the medication, the antibiotic they put you on was effective and their ear, ear has returned back to normal visually, but also on examination, your hearing's returned back to normal as well. Hey, Dr. Jerry Williams here from Urgent Care 24 seven. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it to be useful. Uh, if you could do me a favor, if you like the video, be sure to click on the like button. Also hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, click on the notifications and click the bell there. That way you'll be sure to be notified every time Urgent Care 24-7 and Affiliates releases a new video. And remember, life is 24-7 and so are we.